Hi and welcome to GPB's series of videos on online communication helpful hints. Although we've been getting more used to online delivery over the last couple of years, there are still things that people could do a lot better. It's really important to have the optimal online setup to be at your most persuasive with an audience. If they can see and hear you clearly, then they can focus their energies on what it is you've got to say. Anything less than the optimal setup risks distracting them and diluting your message. So Des, what's the best way to set up for an online meeting? We'll briefly cover three areas, Helen. Camera lens height, equipment position, and the use of backdrops. People often set up their camera lens too low. The result is we end up looking up their nostrils, at the ceiling, or into the light, which isn't a good look. One simple thing you can do is to use a pile of books or printing paper to make sure your camera lens is at the optimal height. Ideally, you want your camera lens to be directly in front of your nose, but not too close. You can achieve that using your mobile phone in a tripod or stand, or using your laptop. A second thing you can do is getting the direction of your light source right. Whether it's electric or natural light, it wants to be directly in front of your face rather than behind you or beside you, which throws your face into shadow. So Helen, if you could close those blinds. Now you can see the improvement. When it comes to backgrounds, you may be letting people into your home. We can see whatever's behind you, so you need to make sure it looks good and reflects well on you. You can tidy up, or you can hide your room, either using a virtual background or by blurring it using the video function of your conference software. We hope you found these tips useful. For more in this series and other helpful hints, please visit our YouTube channel. There you can subscribe if you wish to be kept informed of new content. Thank you for watching.